Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it to friends who might need it. This video is supposed to be down in the comments, so if you have a song you would like me to do, leave it down in the comments and I'll check it out. So for the song, guitar is going to be in standard tuning, but you're going to need a capo on the 5th fret. Also, the song is going to be pretty repetitive, you're not going to be going through many different chord progressions. First thing you're going to need is going to be a C add 9, they're going to be playing 5th string 3rd fret. 4th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret, fret, and 1st string 3rd fret. You're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. That's gonna be the strumming pattern for each chord. Then you're gonna go to a G chord. Pretty much the same thing you're playing right now, but move them up one string. So 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, with your fingers still on 2nd string 3rd fret and 1st string 3rd fret. It's like the same strumming pattern. Then move your finger from the 6th string 3rd fret to the 6th string 2nd fret and it's going to be 5th string open. Play the same string pattern here. Then go to an E minor 7, play that. It's going to be 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret with your finger still on 2nd string 3rd fret and 1st string 3rd fret. Play the same string pattern here once. So that's how it sounds like all together. And then repeat it one more time. So C at nine, G. But then the one on the sixth or seventh fret, you're gonna play it once. That's strummed out. And then go into the verse. So for the verse, pretty much gonna be playing the exact same thing you play in the intro, but you play it twice, and then go into the next verse. But this time, the next verse is gonna be played the same way you played the first half of the intro or the previous verse. So. C add 9, G, 6 string, 2nd fret, and then E minor 7. Play that two more times. So, in general, we're going to play it three times for the second verse. So, second time, third time, and then for the fourth time around, you play the second chord progression that you played in the previous verse, so C at 9, G, then 6th string, 2nd fret twice. And then you go into the chorus. So the chorus, you're going to play the same way you played the first, or pretty much what you played in the intro, but twice. And then move on to the next verse. Next verse, you're going to be played the same way you played the first verse. So the C at 9, G, 6th string, 2nd fret, E minor. And then the second chord progression, which is a C add 9, G, and then 6th string 2nd fret twice. You're going to play that whole thing once, and then you play it one more time, and then go on to the next verse. Next verse, you're going to play, you play the same way you play the second verse, so you're pretty much repeating the same thing you did before you got to the chorus. So C add 9, G, 6th string 2nd fret chord, or F sharp, if that's easier, because technically the note is an F sharp. And then the E minor 7, play that two more times, so in general three times, like we did the last time. Then the last one is going to be the second chord progression, so C add 9, G, and then F sharp. And then go to the chorus, like always. Chorus, you can either decide to play it the same way you played the previous verse, or you can play it the same way you played the previous chorus, either one. You go to the next verse, next verse is going to be played the same way you played the first verse. And then you go to the chorus, like I said, for this chorus, you can either play the same way you play the previous verse or how you've always played the chorus whichever one is more comfortable for you and then go on to the outro and the outro you could always play it the same way you played the previous the second verse if you remember it's the one with the c add 9 the g the f sharp e minus 7 all with the first string and second string on the third fret play that two more times so in general you're printing it three times then for the last one it's gonna be the C add 9 G and then F sharp and that's pretty much how the song ends so it's how the whole song sounds like all together
this video helped don't forget to leave a like subscribe to more videos like this share it to friend if i need it leave a comment down below on what you like to see next and i'll see you next time